Israel, it's a name, a place, but also an idea, a crossroads, a land where history isn't some dusty textbook, it's alive, you feel it under your feet in the walls, it's in the faces of the people too, complex, beautiful, I'm not here for politics, not really, food, culture, the human experience, that's my thing, and Israel, man, this place is a whole banquet, a messy, vibrant, delicious mess, let's dig in, we're talking about a country that's been fought over for centuries, ruled by empires, prophets, kings, it's seen it all. But through it all, something remains, a spirit, a resilience, you gotta respect that. Israel is tiny, I mean, you can practically drive across it in a day. From the Mediterranean Sea to the Jordan River, it's about 290 miles long, at its widest point, just 70 miles. Think Rhode Island with more camels, but don't let the size fool you. This land packs a punch, deserts in the south, snow-capped mountains up north, fertile valleys, ancient ruins, bustling cities, it's a whole lot of everything crammed into a small package. And the borders? Man, don't even get me started. Complicated doesn't even begin to describe it. Let's just say, this is a place where history is still being written, every day. Over 9 million people call Israel home. Jews, Arabs, Christians, Muslims, you name it, they're here. A melting pot of cultures, languages, traditions. Sometimes it's beautiful, sometimes it's messy, always interesting. You've got ultra-Orthodox Jews in their black hats and coats, walking the same streets as hipsters sipping lattes. Arabic markets buzzing with life right next to modern skyscrapers. It's a clash of old and new East and West. And the food? Don't even get me started on the food. Israeli cuisine is like the country itself. A fusion of influences, falafel, hummus, shawarma, these are just the basics. We'll get to the good stuff later. Everybody knows Jerusalem. The Western Wall, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, places steeped in history, religion. But I'm here to tell you there's more to Israel than the obvious. Trust me, take Caesarea Maritima, an ancient Roman city right on the coast. King Herod built this place and let me tell you the man had style. Amphitheater, hippodrome, even an underwater harbor, all in ruins now but you can still feel the grandeur. Imagine, gladiators battling it out, chariots racing, the roar of the crowd, it's all there buried beneath the sand. You just gotta know where to look. And trust me, it's worth the effort. Section 5. The Sacred Echo of Masada. This chapter takes us to one of the most iconic and historically significant sites in Israel. Then there's Masada, a mountain fortress rising up from the Judean desert. It's not just a geographical marvel but a symbol of resilience and defiance. This is where 2,000 years ago a group of Jewish rebels made their last stand against the Roman army. These rebels, known as the Sicarii, fortified themselves atop this mountain, choosing to fight for their freedom against the might of Rome. They chose death over slavery. A powerful story, man. The tale of their bravery and ultimate sacrifice has echoed through the ages, inspiring countless generations. You can hike up to the top or take the cable car if you're lazy like me. The hike is a challenging but rewarding experience, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding desert landscape. But once you're there, standing on that plateau, looking out over the Dead Sea, you feel it. The weight of history, the vast expanse of the desert below and the shimmering waters of the Dead Sea create a surreal backdrop. The courage, it's humbling. You can't help but reflect on the immense bravery of those who stood here before, facing insurmountable odds with unwavering resolve. Masada is a UNESCO World Heritage Site now. This designation helps preserve its legacy and ensures that future generations can learn from its history, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, hope and defiance can endure. The story of Masada is not just about a tragic end, but about the enduring spirit of resistance and the human will to fight for freedom. It's a place that stays with you. The sunset over Masada is particularly poignant, casting a golden glow over the ancient ruins and evoking a sense of timelessness. Visitors often find themselves deeply moved, contemplating the sacrifices made here and the lessons that history imparts. Section 6, Beyond Hummus and Falafel, A Culinary Journey. Okay, let's talk food. When you think of Israeli cuisine, what comes to mind? Is it the creamy hummus, the crispy falafel, or perhaps the vibrant salads? Well, there's so much more to explore. Israeli cuisine is having a moment, and for good reason. It's a melting pot of flavors, influenced by the diverse cultures that have settled in the region over centuries. From the Mediterranean to the Middle Eastern, each dish tells a story. It's fresh, it's flavorful, it's got soul. 
The ingredients are often locally sourced, ensuring that every bite is packed with the essence of the land. Imagine walking through a bustling market, the air filled with the scent of fresh herbs and spices, and it goes way beyond hummus and falafel, although those are pretty damn good too. These staples are just the beginning. They serve as a gateway to a culinary adventure that promises to tantalize your taste buds. We're talking about dishes like nafe, a sweet cheese pastry soaked in syrup. This dessert is a perfect blend of textures and flavors with its crispy exterior and gooey sweet interior. It's a treat that you simply can't miss. Or shakshuka, eggs poached in a spicy tomato sauce. This dish is a breakfast staple, but it's so hearty and flavorful that it can be enjoyed any time of the day. The combination of tomatoes, peppers, and spices creates a symphony of flavors. And don't even get me started on the street food savage Yaknun Malawatch. These are not just snacks, they are culinary experiences in their own right. Sabich, with its layers of eggplant, hard-boiled eggs, and tahini, is a flavor explosion. Man, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. The joy of Israeli cuisine is not just in the eating, but in the sharing. It's about gathering around a table with friends and family, enjoying the bounty of the land together. The best part? The ingredients. Freshness is key. The markets are brimming with vibrant produce from juicy tomatoes to fragrant herbs. Each ingredient is chosen with care, ensuring that the final dish is nothing short of spectacular. Israel is a land of sunshine and fertile soil. The climate is perfect for growing a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. This abundance is reflected in the cuisine, which celebrates the natural flavors of the ingredients. Tomatoes burst with flavor, olives are plump and juicy, the spices will blow your mind. Imagine the taste of a sun-ripened tomato, or the rich, buttery flavor of a freshly pressed olive. These are the building blocks of Israeli cuisine. It's all about fresh, local, seasonal. The philosophy is simple. Use the best ingredients available and let their natural flavors shine. This approach not only makes the food delicious but also supports local farmers and sustainable practices. The way food should be, it's a celebration of life, of community, and of the land. So next time you sit down to a meal, think about the journey each ingredient has taken to get to your plate. It's a story worth savoring. Section 7. Tradition and Innovation Hand in Hand Israel is a country of contrasts, ancient history alongside cutting-edge technology, deeply religious communities living next door to secular hipsters. It's a place where tradition and innovation walk hand in hand. Take Tel Aviv, for example. This city is a non-stop party, beaches, nightlife, a thriving arts scene, but it's also a hub for startups and high-tech companies. They call it the Silicon Wadi for a reason. And then you have Jerusalem, a city that's been holy to three major religions for millennia. But even here, amidst the ancient stones and sacred sites, you'll find a modern city finding its way. It's a delicate balance. Section 8. Finding Serenity in the Desert, Timna Park When you need a break from all that history and culture, head south to Timna Park. Nestled in the southern part of Israel, this park offers a unique escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. It's a place where the ancient past meets the serene present, providing a perfect getaway for those looking to unwind and reconnect with nature. This place is like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. Imagine vast stretches of desert, dramatic landscapes that seem to stretch on forever, and an air of mystery that beckons adventurers from all corners of the globe. The park's unique geological formations and rich history make it a must-visit destination. A desert landscape sculpted by wind and time with towering sandstone cliffs, hidden canyons and ancient copper mines. These natural wonders have been shaped over millennia, creating a breathtaking backdrop for exploration. The towering cliffs and hidden canyons offer a sense of awe and wonder, while the ancient copper mines provide a glimpse into the region's rich history of mining and trade. You can hike, bike, even camp out under the stars. The park offers a variety of activities for outdoor enthusiasts, from challenging hiking trails to scenic biking routes, and when the sun sets, there's nothing quite like camping under the vast star-studded sky, where the silence of the desert envelops you, creating a sense of peace and tranquility. Explore the ruins of King Solomon's mines, where ancient miners once toiled to extract precious copper. These historical sites offer a fascinating glimpse into the past, allowing visitors to imagine what life was like for those who worked in these harsh conditions. The ruins are a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, standing as silent witnesses to the passage of time. Marvel at the natural rock formations, which have been sculpted by the elements into stunning shapes and patterns. 
these formations are a photographer's dream, offering endless opportunities for capturing the beauty of the desert. Each rock tells a story, etched into its surface by the forces of nature over countless years, and just soak up the silence of the desert. In a world that's constantly buzzing with noise and activity, Timna Park offers a rare chance to experience true silence. The quiet of the desert is almost palpable, providing a perfect environment for reflection and meditation. It's a place where you can truly disconnect from the outside world and find inner peace. It's a different side of Israel, one that many visitors might not expect. While the country is often associated with its rich history and vibrant cities, Timna Park showcases the natural beauty and tranquility that can be found in its more remote regions. It's a reminder that Israel is a land of contrasts, where ancient history and modern life coexist with stunning natural landscapes. Timna Park is a reminder that even in this land of ancient wonders, nature still holds sway. The park's untouched beauty and serene atmosphere serve as a testament to the enduring power of the natural world. It's a place where you can witness the raw, unspoiled beauty of the desert and feel a deep connection to the earth. It's a place to get lost, to find yourself, and to connect with something bigger than yourself. Whether you're exploring the park's many trails, marveling at its geological wonders, or simply sitting in silence and taking in the vastness of the desert, Timna Park offers a unique opportunity for personal reflection and growth. It's a destination that leaves a lasting impression, inviting you to return again and again to experience its timeless beauty. Section 9 Israel, a tapestry of experiences. So there you have it, Israel, a land of contradictions, a place of endless fascination. It's not always easy, it's not always pretty, but it's always real. And isn't that what travel is all about? From the ancient ruins to the bustling cities, from the sacred sites to the culinary delights, Israel is a tapestry of experiences. It's a place that will challenge you, surprise you, and stay with you long after you've left. So, come hungry, come curious, come ready for anything, because Israel, Israel will blow your mind.